Welcome to Hajan Ranch in Armenia. We're back from our vacation to Egypt and Jordan. Um, here we are. It's Saturday, November 12th. It hasn't started snowing yet. It's still green. Our eggplant leaves are green, as you can see. There's uh, the apple trees and pear trees have turned uh, red and yellow, the leaves. This peach tree is still green, thank God. Um, so the good news is you can feed green leaves from trees to your rabbits. But once they turn yellow, like that mulberry over there, you can't feed them anymore. Or if they're red, like this apple tree, if you feed the red or yellow leaves to rabbits, they get sick. But the green leaves are fine for some reason that I don't know. Anyway, look at this eggplant. Here it is. The middle of November, just about, and we still have eggplants to harvest at Hajian Ranch in Armenia. Praise the Lord. There's another one over there. There's a few. Uh, there's little baby ones, and the little baby eggplants that are only a couple of inches long, they make jam out of those, like a preserve. Uh, my wife knows how to make it. Mariam is an expert. So let's take a look here in the garden. We have those big uh, Japanese radishes to harvest still. There's plenty of food to eat, in other words. There's radishes, there's Swiss char, there's lots of quince, and still some pears on the trees. The figs are done. There's little figs, but they're not going to ripen because it's too cold. So here's some figs. You can, we can see the figs, but they're small. And next year, we'll have uh, figs on this tree that will be edible. Here is another fig tree. But the important part here is the Swiss char. We have Swiss char and the uh, cold nights make it even better. So. We have lots of Swiss char to make at least a couple of meals. Praise the Lord. Our, uh, there's a few melons here. I don't think they're good, but the pig will enjoy them. There's another one right there, a little tiny melon that hasn't ripened. This is our basil, this red basil. We can still eat that. And that's a big apricot tree. The leaves are yellow. They're... No good to feed to the rabbits anymore. There's rose hips here for making tea. Plenty of rose hips. So, praise God, there's lots of food. And on top of the roof, you can see our solar hot water heater, which provides 360 liters of hot water. So... Have a blessed day, my friends, as you worship Jesus. Oh, down here we have peppers. Let's take a look. I'm going to have to harvest these because I heard it's going to get to below freezing tonight. And anything that we don't harvest will be spoiled. We won't be able to use it. So here's some tiny peppers. These are the hot chilies. And there's more here in this row of peppers. So it's wonderful. We praise the Lord for this bountiful harvest we had this year. It was really good. Uh, there's green tomatoes down here too, cherry tomatoes, which we can make into uh, uh, radi uh, relish, tomato relish. Here they are. So these will have to come out of this area. They have to be harvested today because tomorrow they won't be any good anymore. So there's plenty of green tomatoes. Oh, there's some big ones here, right there on this uh, branch. There's several uh, nice plump green tomatoes. These probably I can put inside and in the windowsill and they'll ripen, they'll be red for our salads. So, Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's uh, still some squash out here. We have yellow crookedness squash. We have acorn squash. All kinds of squash that are matured and they're good for making uh, um, 
with the acorn squash you can make bread there's recipes and you can make stews and so forth or you can just cut them in half and uh, roast them with your chicken or beef and they're good that way so don't forget to grow your own food now I know winter is coming but you can grow in your greenhouse in, indoors all winter long we have crops in our greenhouse now for the winter here's a few more peppers that have to be picked wonderful praise the Lord so grow your own food now and if you don't have a greenhouse you can plant some indoor varieties of crops just one or two mints or parsleys in your windowsill so you can have some herbs here's a lilac tree that's blooming now at the uh, at the beginning of winter I can't believe it ah it smells so good so these lilacs normally bloom in the springtime but for some reason this one decided to bloom now in the middle of November God bless you.